Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Ronka and today me and Bay are headed to Ochos Rios, Jamaica. Alright guys, so we're on the bus now to head to the resort. It took us like a little bit over an hour to get through um, customs and, and everything so that, that was actually really really long. The girl was very tired. I really feel like when we get to the hotel, I'm about to just take a shower and take a nap because I'm exhausted. So it's just about two hours later and we are finally here. So I uploaded a video last week that provides a property tour. I will link it above for you all to watch, but this is just the general dining hall where we went to go grab a quick bite. Hey y'all, so we got into our room and since our bags weren't here yet, we just decided to go get food first. Um, so after we got lunch, we came back up here, you know, started to kind of just prep for bed. The time right now is probably like six something, like 6.05, um, that's 7.05 DC time. But I just feel so tired. I'm finna call it an early night. I think I'm probably just gonna order room service for dinner and just chill in bed and then just fall asleep whenever I fall asleep. My goal is to sleep in, but somebody over here signed us up for like a breakfast expo, something, something, something. It's one of these things where they basically try to give you a hotel credit for attending a session. It's, it sounds very much time sherry to me, but, um, you know, our uncle, our guy, has signed us up, so I'm possibly gonna go. It depends if he wakes up any if he wakes up that early anyway. But um, we'll we'll probably be doing that in the morning, and then hopefully tomorrow will be a more eventful or just robust day, either seeing the property or doing something else. <sighs> That's it for me tonight, y'all. Good night. Our room service is here. This is some caramel sort of creme brulee type of dessert. I don't know. It looks good in the picture. <coughs> Bless you. Yeah, Tosin got some stick with poutine or potato poutine, whatever it is called. Then I got a, wow, that is very small, a jerk chicken wrap. And then I also got, I don't want to open it that way, some chips and guac. I think this is punch. Good morning, guys. This is day two of our stay in Jamaica. Um, we're going down for this breakfast thing that I mentioned that we signed up for yesterday. Basically, they're giving us hotel credits by attending. I hope it's gonna be worth it because I'm really tired and I would love to be back asleep right now. So, yeah, we'll see. All right, y'all, day two, and the weather is much more better. Does not look overcast in the slightest, and, oh, wow. This is the type of weather that we came for. Loving it. Hi, y'all. Welcome back. So, it is day two in Jamaica. Well, I already saw that this morning. Anyways, the girl went to sleep, woke up, is feeling a lot more energized. Um, the session that we went for this morning was basically a timeshare kind of presentation. And for those who don't know, timeshares are basically things where they tell you that you can purchase like a membership or a property with them. And then you're able to come back to that same property whenever you want. The issue with timeshares is that typically they have blackout dates and a lot of other restrictions. So this one is not exactly like a timeshare because they, they kept emphasizing that it's not like a timeshare. We don't have blackout dates, but it's still kind of the same thing. And it just, you know, for me, I don't, I don't think it makes sense to toss down several tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars to get a room at a location i just that's not my lifestyle right now um i don't think it would ever really be my lifestyle either because it, it, they just don't seem like a good plan to me anyways we went for the session and apparently we're getting 500 resort credits so i'm gonna go down to check that out and make sure that we got our resort credits and to see if we can use them towards the spa but um yeah i mean it's kind of a slow day just because you know like i said just kind of waking back up and the time right now the time right now is like 256 local times almost three o'clock so yeah it's, it's it's been it's yeah just very tired from yesterday so that's kind of what, what's happening here but um like i said i'm gonna go downstairs to gonna go downstairs to figure out the resort stuff gonna get me some lunch and probably get me a drink or two so yeah we'll be back so for lunch, I went to the jerk hut and the food there is on point. These people fully understand the assignment. I got jerk chicken and festival with an amaretto sour on the side. 
Then afterwards, I went to the boulangerie to get myself pastry. And then I honestly feel like I fell asleep after all of this. Good morning. So we are up and at them. We've been up probably since like seven something. But we decided to leave the room really quick because I wanted to get some footage of the property when there are not too many people walking around and also when it's still early enough that it's not too overcast yet. It's been getting a little overcast and cloudy and rainy in the evenings. So I figured the earlier the better. So I'm gonna be getting some footage that we're gonna go get breakfast really quick and then we'll probably go back up to the room, get another round of breakfast. And then later on today, we'll be doing an excursion. Tosa is the one that kind of coordinated it. This is my vacation to relax. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Now, did you really go to a resort if they did not have an omelet station? Every morning for breakfast at this resort, I had an omelet and it was good. So we're back in our room. Um, I ate a lot for breakfast and now I'm feeling a little tired. We're just gonna rest for a little bit and then we'll be going out for our excursion. Um, today is Saturday and I believe they have a 6 p.m. curfew or something in Jamaica and then tomorrow there's an all day curfew which means we won't be able to leave the property. So today's pretty much like our only opportunity to leave and do something. So after the excursion, maybe we'll go around, try to find some shops or something, something to do, but we'll see. So we were told that this location is a place where Bob Marley used to perform back in the day. So these signs here were basically put up to warn people that if you were in this portion of the river, you just got scammed. Basically the actual um, original legitimate Calypso rafting was a little bit further down than where we went, though we didn't know that. And then this is where the river meets the ocean. So for this, if you went to the right, that would be the actual Calypso rafting. We went to the left, so we didn't go to the right place. The excursions are over because it started raining, but it's not raining anymore. But um, because it was raining, the guy that we were with was saying that um, I think Dunn's River, that's where we would have gone next, that it would close if it rained. So it was raining before, now it's not raining anymore. So that's why we're sitting outside to eat. But we went back to Jerk Hut, so I got some chicken festival and corn. And then we just went inside to the main buffet just to get a little bit of rice. I was actually hoping for the rice and kidney beans, but they didn't have that. So the stir fried rice and coconut rice. hi all so we just got back to our room um the hibachi experience it was good i mean it, i think it was comparable to any other hibachi experience you could have anywhere else but it was good um they obviously did not you know limit what type of meats you can get which was really nice so you could get all four and i think they offered shrimp chicken salmon and some beef um so i thought that was nice um obviously you can't take it out if you don't finish it so we didn't finish ours so we just kind of ate what we could then afterwards we were trying to see if we could get um to hear some live entertainment but the live entertainment is only i think it's only between the hours of 8 and 10 or 9 and 10 but we finished dinner after 10 so it was over and then we ended up going to the club but anyways we're back in our room um gonna go to sleep soon 
and then we'll be on to our last full day in Jamaica. Yeah, man. Good morning. We are doing room service breakfast really quick before we go do our COVID test while we listen to Sunday service. Got a pastry thing, grapefruit juice, fruit platters. I think this is a parfait. And then Tosin got a club sandwich. We're going to do our COVID test right now um, with the hotel. They currently, I think it's part of their current deal. If you stay more than three nights or four nights, they will provide a COVID test for free. So we're going to go do that. And after that, I'm going to go get myself an omelet because I really like my omelets. Then I will come back up to the hotel and chill. Yep. So I know in my top travel items video, I talked about how I always take a journal with me. And so I took my journal this time and y'all, that journaling session was so good. So good. Hey guys. So we are about to head out to the spa for a spa treatment. Um, we're first gonna do the treatment and then afterwards we're supposed to be doing some sort of hydrotherapy something. So we'll see how that goes and how it is. I might skip some steps of it, but I'll keep you guys posted. This drink that Tosin got is called the Bob Marley. We don't really like the food that's here tonight, so we're just gonna do something light. So we finished from the spa and thought it was nice. Um, aromatherapy really isn't, I guess, my thing. So I thought it was nice, but I wasn't necessarily wowed. But I don't wanna say that they didn't do a good job. Once again, I just think aromatherapy isn't my thing. So then afterwards, we went to the beach Went to go grab some food really quick, came back up to freshen up, and now we're going to go back down to eat. Um, I don't know yet what we're going to be eating. Maybe Italian, maybe jerk. It just depends on what's available. And then we're planning to try to watch one of the entertainment shows tonight before we come back up to like get ready and, and um, pack <sighs> before we sleep and head off in the morning. So I got some spaghetti and Tosin got some fettuccine. Looks like a seafood fettuccine. I also got a Lamancho just to try it and y'all maybe it's me, but I don't like it. bus transport back to the airport. I think it's gonna take about two hours to get there. So um, yeah, quite a, quite a journey ahead of us. So before we left the resort, I wanted to get a crepe just to get something to eat on the road. We had about an hour and a half ride back to the airport, which was a little bit less than the ride there. So we were going from Ochos Rios to Montego Bay this time. And we left pretty early around 7 a.m. So not as long this time around. When we got to the airport, we got all the way checked in, which definitely took time. But then afterwards, we headed to the lounge. So this is some footage from the inside of the lounge. I hope you all enjoyed these vacation clips. And as always, please make sure to like this video, share it with others, and subscribe to my channel for more travel and career content. See you next time.